broadcast to you guys because I don't know what's going on. Please, please show there to be something. Some, some fuck. Back. Back. Why won't it work? This is very frustrating. It seems to be working. No, no, see? There we go. There we go. Hello! Broadcast oh, shit. Guys, because I don't know what's going on. Okay, we did it. Please, I'm here. Show there to be something. Fucking fuck. Alright guys, so you're gonna have to let me know how the volume is on everything and what we sound like. Okay, so I'll turn the volume off, move ourselves back over to the game, and uh, yeah. Sorry, okay, so this is my first time I'm moving over to OBS, I'm officially a Twitch affiliate, meaning uh, I'm doing okay, and we're gonna do a Lord on the Aftermath shoutcast, so what do you guys think? Lord on the Aftermath shoutcast? Lord on the Aftermath shoutcast. So, uh, please, for those of you who have never played Lord on the Aftermath, please check out Brigands Haven, DiplomUnion.com, HiveWorkshop.com. They all have communities and forums which focus on doing this. If you'd like to host a game, go to MakeMeHost.com. I'm going to, like, make an intro with this that just kind of, like, introduces everyone. It just repeats itself at the beginning of every video. It'll be, like, all the little pertinent information. Because I get so many of these questions, and I feel like, oh, man, it really would be good to just add it to a video. So, MakeMeHost.com. Check it out. This is another one sent in by our good buddy who sent in the last Lord on the Aftermath shoutcast. So, do not expect him to win. That's going to be okay. Um, for those of you who didn't watch, I guess you don't know. For those of you who did watch, just don't in the chat. Keep it quiet. Keep it silent. And we'll be fine. So, how's everyone doing? The one person who's currently here. Hope you're doing well. Let's see who's going to be in this game with us today. Alrighty, oh my goodness gracious, you were controlling the high elves, blah, 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 blah. Alright guys, so this is a 12 player custom map set in the Warcraft 3 engine. It controls based on a control point based system, which means that scattered around the map are little points and bits and areas of importance which you can capture with your units. We're going to zoom in right now because we know it was going to happen at some point. We don't have our zoom out hacked. Let's just get it over with and get it cinematic. Capturing these will give you gold. Lumber is harvested normally and you generally have a food cap of anywhere between two and 300 gold. Two and three hundred foot food, I should say. So aggressive is playing the Blood Elves. Ayo hey, is going to be, I believe. The few of us that remain now call ourselves Blood Elves. That's not good. In homage to our murdered people. So blue just left, which means fed life is fucked. All right. So sorry, blue left, which means that the. Cult of no the, uh, the, the Nerzul, the Lich King, he's out. The Scourge, there we go. However, his little side monkey, the cult, is still here. He's played by Cheesy Monkey. Aggressive is the Blood Elves. Skilled Ganon is going to be the Legion in this. Windrunner, Dalaran, Peggy Boy. Mm, he's gonna be the Dwarves. Anushi. <laughs> Anushi. I'm not sure he said that right. Anyway, he's gonna be controlling Kargath Blapis and the Fell Horde. Prophet Muhammad in the green trunks controlling the horde. Fed life, as I said before, is going to be controlling the Forsaken. As I said before, I immediately forgot. Oh, anyway, Victor, light blue, uh, lights, chapel, pope, paladins, all those good things. Trolls in the dark green by uh, Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, that's just such, you fucking nailed that name, man. And Baron in the brown trunks. Playing the Dark Horde, not the Fell Horde, but the Dragon Mod Dark Horde. Okay. <clears throat> so moving back up to one time speed, we're going to keep an eye on the game as usual. The, fell, uh, the Blood Elves are going to want to take back control of this northern area, while Dwarves have a couple options: they could move south and deal with their enemies, or they could go hunting down up in or up in Northrend rather and attempt to get something done. Now, oh goodness, this could be a bit of trouble. A Horde blockade sitting here right in the middle of the ocean as some units are going to be attempting to go by. However, transport's not included at the moment, as far as I could tell, at least. 
And he may choose to kill his ally just for the free kills and experience. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, it sunk. No, tell me. Light blue. He lost Alexandros Mograine. Oh, in a tragic boating accident. Guys, I don't, I don't know how you feel about this, but I'm pretty upset. Our forces are under attack. Our allied town is under siege. Okay, and surprisingly enough, Brown being extra aggressive right now. Although, I am confused here. Peggy boys thing just not see it. Is it not stationed? Must not be stationed, because there's no way those aren't within range, right? I'm not a bad man. There can't be a way. Dalaran's gonna start picking some fights with Forsaken. We'll see how Skill Ganon manages to handle that. I mean, Red, red Life. Red Life. Now, uh, Windrunner is, of course, the defender in that situation. You can tell I was gonna say something else, but then I didn't. So we're just gonna leave it that I didn't. And, oh my god! <gasps> Has Victor has already gone over to the evil path? Wow, that was quick, bro. Our town is under siege. <laughs> okay, so he is now the Our Scarlet Crusade, and not allied to his allies anymore. I should think, right? No, although he can see Thargus Angomar for some reason, but I don't believe he has any allies. That's kind of shitty for him. So he's just in a world of angry stuff that doesn't like him and hoping that he's not worth killing. That's really the only advantage he has right now is he's not a threat. Oh god, you never want to hear that. That means that somebody's getting closer. Probably Jesus of Nazareth. No. Baron. To getting out his evil, evil overlords. The bad men behind the scenes who pull all the strings. The old gods. And in Outland, it looks like the Dark Horde on a pretty good roll so far. It doesn't appear that Skill Ganon's gonna even bother trying to take over. Most of his units having apparently either died or evacuated. Leaving only a small bit of the Dark Horde out here. So yeah. They're gonna come charging out of there at some point, and I'm super excited. Now, Dark Horde finally putting on some pressure to the dwarves, while down in the north. We see Dalaran finally having to face the combined forces of demons and undead at his doorstep. I gotta wonder what Windrunner plans to do. He's... nope, he's just out in old dungeons, apparently. Tracking shit down and getting eyeballs and stuff. Well, this was a bad idea. So, he has stupidly gone out of his way. He's going to lose, and he's going to lose his base. He's going to lose his ability to help anyone. And everyone's going to cry. It's a brilliant, brilliant play. <laughs> Jesus, these units are so strong early on, especially in Lord of the Trying to find out, I think the first attack. big actual conflict may be Dwarves and the Dark Horde. Because it looks, I mean, Thargus and Wilmar, with a small force ready to try to hold the defense of uh, Menethil Harbor. I was to say, I have sailed so many times from that damn place, but. Not in a long time. I remember when I had to go often to Menethil Harbor. Oh, oh god. This is the problem with World of Warcraft is I talk about it and then I get all super emotional. Like, I want to go back. I want it to be like it was. It's not going to be like it was. And on this side, the Horde is super excited to see basically almost nothing. However, the ships in this narrow passageway may end up costing him more than he expects. Gotta be careful, but god, battleship with fortified armor are going to be ignored by most units, however. The catapults will try to get in close, frigates also. Again, everything fortified armor is going to be ignored for most of the time. Let's get rid of that. There we go. We can always check it out if it's needed. Thargus is going to go down, and it would appear that so is Dalaran. Really no defense against the undead when it's like that. Now. <laughs> I like the use of the Manta Ray. They're cool units. They're cool little additions. I like anything that adds flavor to the races in Lord on the Aftermath. Really just kind of transforms it into its own thing. Our town is under siege. Our allies' town is under siege. Our allies' town is under siege. Our forces are under attack. Eat it. 
hate it. I wonder if there's any other thing. <clears throat> okay, so I was having trouble with my video because I just don't have enough USB things, so I ordered an extra USB thing. And it came, but it's not being registered by Shadowplay, but it is registered by OBS. And it is so far. Oh, wow, and not expected by me, but Jesus of Nazareth has now stormed in behind the Blood Elves here after they've taken down the Undead and is getting in to flank them. This is a terrible situation with the archers getting caught out in the open. Massive catapult lines raining down death and destruction upon them. And wow, I don't know what aggressive does against this. This is such a bad situation for him. Uh, if I were him, I would back all the way up. All the way up. And just buy some time, if at all possible. Because there's no way you can beat this army. Not with healing wards and siege support. This is insane. The Ballistas, yeah, sure he's got his own, but he doesn't have healing wards. And chain heals. I mean, my god. Trolls are so cool, I kind of want to play them. I actually would be down to play a game tonight if I could get enough people in. <gasps> and oh no, Lights Hope Chapel finally under assault. Sorry, Tears Hand finally under assault with Kel'Thuzad leading the charge at the head of a massive undead army. Well, not actually a massive undead army, but one that with a mostly empty Tears Hand probably can take it. Huntsman Leopold is going to do his best to hold out here for a while. And remember, all these units continually get healed as long as they're standing in Tears Hand. He can hold the line for a long time. And oh my god, a flanking force of dwarves has caught the Dark Horde out of position. Oh, this is beautiful. And now as they come in for the attacks, I have to wonder what army bears better. It's ever still bear. Great bastard. GG well played, said aggressive. I think that is the... Uh, Elves admitting that they are just out of the game. That sucks. So, Elves already wiped out. Dwarves in conflict with the Dark Horde. Uh, actually not able to do quite as well as he was hoping, trying to take out that barracks, but he's still there for reinforcements. And now his two armies split in half. He's going to have to try to hold Menethil Harbor with what he's got. And it would have behooved him to have at least targeted the catapults, because that's what's going to carry the siege. If that army had to go in and fight the existing dwarves and all these improved cannon towers, they would get destroyed. But with Campholtz there, it's just a matter of time. How's everyone in the chat doing today? I can see Sixy lurking, looking, looking right at my beautiful face and not even talking to me. Feels so used. I kind of like it. And the Horde managing to sneak right up into the back of Red's face, but already plagued and apparently fleeing from something or just. No? I can't tell if he's forcing his army deeper in in an effort to have more coverage when he attacks. No, he's just running. He's just getting the fuck out of dodge. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Dark Horde is still picking off the occasional dwarf. <laughs> this is not going to go well for the Alliance. And, you know, usually they win or do at least pretty well. <laughs> oh, man, he's getting murdered. He's trying to kill all these creeps and do all this work, and he's just getting destroyed. Ruger healing. Come on, man. Windrunner, get out of there. Alright, where's the next big conflict? The Horde is nowhere near home. I'm, I have to assume he's trying to meet up with Dark Reed. Is that what you guys, the impression you're getting? the way I was expecting it to. Okay, back. This Dalron experiment is a brute early on. And you can see he's trying to teleport, oh, in or out? No, it's, it's just a Dalron Dungeons teleport. Is he gonna be able to take this thing out? Oh, it's kind of a crapshoot. Anywho, final bastion of Doomhood falling in Outlands. No real contest out there. I think we all knew that's how that was gonna play out. However, Holy and crap! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Victor, who are you allied to? Victor is not allied with the Horde. However, he has clashed suddenly against the Horde and the Undead at the exact same time. What an epic moment. This is what these maps are made for, dude. When this shit goes down, you're like, oh, three-way battle! Three-way impromptu battle! <laughs> yeah! 
God, that feels good. All right, and immediately getting his heroes target and running the fuck home. Get out. Victor, by the way, held Tears hand because he's a baller. However, he is now poisoned and hurt. The horde is all up in the grills. And unless Dark Thing manages to flank, which I'm hoping he does, is he? Eh? Eh? Dark Thing, where are you, buddy? Have you see the boy? Can you tell your buddy's in trouble? Oh my God! I think that Red needs to go home immediately. This is not going as well. No, Zero Tool, they are not a joke. Also, by the way, welcome to the chat, buddy. How you doing today? And again, in the south, demons in the Forsaken have taken over Gilnas. Not a surprise, not really anything we're expecting. Lord Garethos taking so much of this damage and uh, being healed by the Azahira. But Renault? But Renault does not have enough for a heal right now, so he's got to play very carefully. And these Plague Cauldrons spawning the occasion. Oh my god. You just don't know how effective Plague Cauldrons are until they spawn by, you know, by like 20 zombies to just tank for almost practically free. And they're not weak, they're just really excellent meat shields. Ah, yes, guys, we do have video today. Um, I hope it's not awful. I hope the quality is okay. That I don't look too terrible. Anyway. Oh my god, the demons have hunted down the trolls. The trolls attempting to bust out workers. Oh, they charged. That was such an aim. Damn, daddy. Targeting down that building immediately. Skill Ganon. Base aiming like I've never seen before. But I guess that's what you do as the demons. You are... <clears throat> just a lot of fun. Cheesy monkey. In a big fight, chasing away. I gotta give him credit for this at least. He's hanging in there. Hey there, Pongo Congo. How you doing, man? Oh. Well, uh, I'm very... <laughs> people are being very complimentary in the chat. I... I <laughs> uh, Contemptor is being very dishonest when he tells you that I've been consistent. I may have been consistent in my quality, but not in my quantity. Cheesy Monkey leaving the game, deciding, fuck it, you know, I really don't want to hang out as the cult with no backup. Fuck that. We've all had that feeling. And, I mean, we've, we've seen me throw my little rage fits, so I'm not going to sit here and try to wax eloquent or poetic about what you should or should not have done. What the shit? Did I miss a big fight with Baron, or did he just back off for a little bit? Baron has retreated all the way back into his base for... What? Seems to be no reason. He might be hopping in boats to go sail off somewhere to fight an enemy. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on him. But the dwarves are kind of getting a little bit of a free boost right now. An ability to, uh, potential to come back. Hi there, DHD bot. It's good to see you, man. Uh, Fire Artist says, Dad! Dad! Anyway, I can't stay doing a DM. It's nice to see you, Sharsha. Take care, buddy. Burning me, welcome to the chat. Alright, guys. Let's get back to the game. Uh, demons uh, war assholes. I don't know if we mentioned that. Kazakh the Supreme is hanging out. He's got this massive demon army hanging out with Kill Jaden, and he's just going to occasionally send them into the real world to wreak havoc, take control points, get creeps, accomplish evil things. And. <laughs> Same tanks are pretty good. I can't spot where the next big conflict is. Because I don't think there currently is one. Or am I just missing it? I guess the trolls are in pretty good position, but they're not threatened by anyone. Muski. Oh, he's so big, he's so big. He's got my favorite things, the Doom Cannons. Look at those upgrades, two, three already. And I gotta say this, if the Dark Horde manages to get out of control, this is going to be a really interesting game. Because that happened last time, and they cheated, and they went buck wild. Well, two different people from different sides of different awfulness did differently terrible things, because they're terrible people. Life for me is wonderful. Um, I wish I could sh oh shit, you guys want to see something really cool? I got, let me make sure I see exactly where that is, going to pause this real quick and show you something really cool. Um, well my bed came in, so I finally have a bed, and let's see if I can send you over to what just arrived. Oh, look how fucking sick is that? Right. Right, though. Okay. So there you go. 
believe we have me right there. Okay, going back in. Now we can fight. <laughs> I am bald, 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 bald. Aggressively bald. I always have been. And, uh, yeah, so he pissed off the Dark Horde. The Dark Horde just come back out. It's almost like, you know, yeah, yeah, fucking killed some ants and you thought that was going to be the end of it. And then, oh my god, you went north and you found the Horde. Do you ever hate that when you kill some ants and then you go north and find the Horde? How about you, but... Ugh! And, uh, there's going to be a lot of nets and a lot of fuckery going on. And Gareth is in a panic, shockwaves in the wrong direction, and is about to be mollywhopped. Oh, he's so dead. He's so goddamn dead. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Holy god! If he can get, oh, I don't know, Gareth. I don't fucking heal. Oh, uh, does that mean he's gone forever? Because that would suck, Victor. Oh, Gareth, this is gone forever. That sucks. I kind of want to play a Lord on the aftermath now. Is that? Am I insane? Also, Yellow is totally south, fighting the Horde when the other Horde. Is about to be inside his butt. It's a weird choice. Um, yeah, I think Red's probably about to leave the game. If I'm not wrong. Pongo Congo, I stream pretty inconsistently, uh, but more consistently lately. I will have a schedule out soon. Because it needs to be illustrated. If I try to explain it to everyone, it's weird. Because, like, my weeks are broken up into three chunks. Like, there are three chunks to my week instead of the regular two. Like most people have two chunks, which is the week and then the weekend. I have three chunks, which is um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's the second chunk. And then the third chunk is Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And if I work Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm off Thursday, Friday. If I'm off Thursday, Friday, I'll work Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, this is where my week resets and does a flip. So now ne the next week, instead of working Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday. And I work Thursday, Friday, and I'm off Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it makes streaming interesting, and I'm going to have to develop a literal seven-day streaming schedule to cover every day, all seven days that I will be off over the course of two weeks. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I work half the month. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I actually, I actually don't mind it at all, and it really suits me for now. Jesus Christ, fired artist! You get into a fight and give people black eyes? You're a madman. So yeah, like, and I'm trying to make it all cheesy, funny, you know. By the way, we're just kind of falling around the demons right now because there's not a whole lot of ex like monstrously important things happening. There's a little bit of a push here from Pink, and since there's absolutely nobody to get in, and I don't, let's see. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like they're going to betray each other, so we may see the demons actually hang out and be cool for a while. And as far as that alliance goes in the north, the only oppos opposition is going to be the Horde. It's kind of already de devolved down into the component factors that are actually going to matter. And wow, yellow in two chunks, his army separated. And that puts him in a weird situation with Baron Brown character. He's streaming back south now to say hello to the dwarf. Because they're assholes. Big giant fucking assholes. Yeah, definitely, uh, Pongo Congo. You can find me in Azathin on YouTube, and there are hundreds. Of custom map replays. Hundreds of Azeroth Wars alone. And you <laughs> not to mention the others. So yeah. Take care, man, and have a good day. Thanks for streaming. Or thanks for joining. And finally a big battle here, and I'm gonna join the side that I think is gonna win, the Dark Horde for sure. Um just has a better overall actually no. Actually, no, Windwonder has teleported in and may actually be the change, the uh, deciding factor in this battle. If he can get some good AoE. And. Interesting aim there. All the Black Drakes going for Ronin Dragonheart. I assume because he thinks that there's no real straight, like, ballsy heals that are gonna go. And if he just targets them over time, 
he's going to kill it. And he's absolutely correct. He's going to outlast this army. That's all he did. That's all he did was he identified where the problem was. And this is a pretty slick little shit move here with the Great Hearts targeting down the catapults. I wish they were actually targeting down the catapults a little bit more effectively, but they're doing the damage they need to do. Um, but yeah, Brown's just going to overwhelm this with more health points than the opponent can handle. And yeah. Once he gets it intermingled with your army, all the AoE in the world means nothing. So, wow, shit biscuits. Almost the entire alliance is left at this point. We are fucking 15 minutes into this game and it's seven people left. Five people are out of the game. Oh, that's a player every three minutes. And we are not even an eighth of the way through this. I'm excited. Yeah, Dark Horde, Dark Horde Dragon Maw versus either Forsaken Demons or Horde Patrol Empire. Uh, I think it's like a hundred Azeroth Wars at this point. We're under attack. Yeah, I'm excited to see Brown play. I think I need to check this over just a little bit. There we go. Because I tend to lean back. Do I look like a worm? My neck is gone. Hey guys. Hey guys. Yeah. We're gonna fucking watch some custom maps now. I don't know about you, but I think I'm one of the most charming YouTubers out there. This hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. <laughs> oh no, okay. Um. The Horde is, I, okay. The Horde is super confusing to me right now. Prophet Muhammad seems to just enjoy running across the map crazy long distances for apparently no reason. He's just like, okay, I'm finished fighting over here. Time to run a fucking marathon and then do it again. It's insane. We're under attack. We're under attack. Blah. Red, black. Alright, so OJ has finally managed to start contributing to the fight in mainland Azeroth, and will soon probably be summoning, uh, opening the dark portal, right? Yeah, that's here somewhere, right? <laughs> there it is, okay. I still don't know what he has to do again to activate it. But finally crushing Dawnstrider Harbor. And I love that, you know, like, this used to just be a little bit of nothing on the map. This just used to lead to nothing. This little corner. So run up here, and then there was, like, this. And then nothing. Nothing. And now it's so much more, and I love it. This game is so cool. We're under attack! What level is Ren? I think he was level 5. No, that's Cargat. What am I doing? Ren? Level 4. Does Ren have a certain level that I don't know? Because I don't know all of the triggers in this game. All I know is that there is definitely some events I don't know about. A Kreen, a Happily Peg, just pelt away at a few units. Do what little damage you can. Windrunner is going to stay in the game forever, I have to assume. Even though if he's not, even though he may not contribute forever. He's going to get a town hall up. It's gonna be fun. Even he could go to Northrend right now and just start expanding. Both those players left, except now there's a demonish presence. Ghouls, but makes you feel weird. Oh shit! All right, so Brown is going to invade Yellow now. There's Jesus. What do we have left as far as Alliance goes? Nothing. It's just Windrunner. Felhorde, Dark Horde. Sorry, Fell Horde, Dark Horde. Trolls, Horde, Forsaken, Demons. It's fucking all the evil people. Yes, we get to watch the evil people win. I'm so excited. We never get to watch evil win, except for the last two games we've cast. God damn, can we have a big conflict somewhere here at some point, somewhere important? Town is under Super cool. Okay, let's go ahead and speed through until there's a big fight here, fellas. 
He's like, I'm not interested in this stupid low-level shit. There's only three teams. There's three teams and one observer. Nothing else matters. They're clearing out AFK players. That's all anyone's doing right now. He doesn't even care about the belt of the Bronze Beards. That's where Mavala is. Oh, he hasn't even gotten there yet. Oh my god, how are you already losing more units? Jesus Christ. Windrunner. This is not okay. It's mildly infuriating. The demons are starting to expand into Northern. It says, fuck your tomb of strength. I don't need it. It's not like Varamoth is strength based. I don't need no tomb. Oh, oh god damn it, that's right. I can't hunt him down with his freaking throw. Oh, so annoying. Okay, whatever. He's not, he's not gonna open the old ones. But we also don't have any other two armies ready to clash yet. Speed, speed, speed. Research complete. There we go. Now we're gonna have a conflict because the demons Research and the trolls complete. have run into each other. Fucking finally. Sunwell completely unprotected. Nobody cares about it. Anyone who wants to use it can use it. Alright, so the Horde is declaring war on Northern. We're under attack! Our allied town is being attacked! And that puts demons between- <gasps> Oh shit! Demons are caught between a rock and a hard place and reveals! Oh no! Oh crap, okay. This is super bad. For skill gain. Our allied town is being attacked! Oh, 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 all the chain shots on bar markers. Taking them down to half health. The reveals are everywhere. Now Green's coming in. He's going to have... Oh, wait, what? Huh? Oh, did he just zoom him back? He just... Oh, you sneaky. He teleported right out. Yes, he did. Look at that. Oh, his teleport was on cooldown. He got every single one of his Dreadlords and the Elites out. He's skirting a little bit too close here to Pink. I don't know how Pink's seeing him, though. Wait. Why is Pink shooting at him? Did he unallied? <gasps> he unallied. So now there are four teams. Okay. This game could get more complicated as of yet. Emperor Falafel saying that, uh... They may, trolls may aim for a high level Malak play. Which, he's probably right. I have seen him in a few of these games. He knows what he's talking about. Also, Jesus Christ, my lips. My lips. They're patched. Our town is under attack. That's all. Forces are under attack. So Green doesn't have any stake in the north or the south anymore. It's basically just devoted to the north. And holy crap. Okay, so Dark Horde and Felhorde are now both on Azeroth. And Felhorde has three six upgrades at minute 27, which is super bad for everyone else in the entire game because I think Game of the only ones like playfully coming close to that. 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. Uh, Nishi, what do you got? We just established it. 4-6, 4-6 four, six, four, six now, 4-6, my bad. Holy oh, crap, I Prophet Muhammad? Uh, 0... Oh, 4 zero, 4 Red F, Red Fig. What do you got? 0-3? Zero, 0-3, three. Zero, three. sweet. Your ranged? 1-3, sweet. Our town Jesus is of Nazareth, what are your armies at? 0-3? So three defense, uh, three range attack. Okay. This is not super good for him. Yeah, no, like, uh, 
the Fell Horde, the Dark Horde, and the uh, Black Dragon fight, that economy can just stomp everything else in the game right now. The Forsaken and the Trollheim Buyer would have to gang up to have a chance. But because of events and how this game works, that may not be necessary. Holy, that's a lot of axes. Okay. So Demon's attempting to do some damage to the troll base here, but. Uh, metric. Fuck ton of towers is going to keep it just fine. It doesn't even have a tank, it just, it just says Axe Tower. It just throws an axe. And trolls say, fuck no, get away from my house. I don't know you, don't touch my purse, that's not yours. That's my purse, I don't know you. Oh. Good god, love. Under attack, under attack, under attack. Always, always under attack. Ding, 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 ding. Demons. Whoa! Massive summon off going right there. And I'm not sure exactly what Varmothris is up to right now. Uh, the Dark Lord and Felhorde shoving themselves into the north right now. They're going to get conflict. Like, this just. This looks like a Jackson Pollock painting right now with all the fucking colors on my screen in this small area. We just threw it. Bah! Just spiced it up. Just drizzled it. Get meme fired with it. Just gonna meme -ify my opponents. That's right. That's what the undead do. Especially the desert-based undead. Oh, God. And every time I think there's about to be a conflict, we flee. Because honestly, it's not, about, it's not about the war. It's about keeping your allies alive. Finally, a conflict here. Animal lows. I don't know if they still do AoE damage, but they used to, and that was broken as hell. So, Dark Green laying down some totems and some air cover before backing himself into a better position, laying down uh, healing the totems as well. Now, only problem there is my god, some units immediately dispelled. Very good control there by Baron BD. And he's on the move once again. Dark Green suffering no permanent damage really whatsoever. But uh, unable to slow down Brown's army much. Uh, OJ is flanking around right now, taking area, and getting ready to launch himself further north. And if Dark Green's not careful, he's gonna get caught between a rock and a hard place. But oh my lord, a lord here at Frostwolf Keep. <laughs> we have found a massive army of Horde ready to join in. Drek'thar, level 10 now, with Lordaeron crowned Drek'thar. Oh, yeah, I was talking shit on Green earlier, but look at his items, my god. Alright, and the ruins of Altrak. You know, if uh, Dark Green managed to take that as his base, that'd be a pretty sick defensive position for the two of them. And I take it. Dark Green's going to try to use this narrow corridor and his stun totems and healing totems to negate the larger army advantage that the Dark Horde has. <laughs> Ever Falafel saying that unless they use the Loa, it's completely a slaughter. Once more, you can see the demons stealing control points and special buildings away from his former ally. A ton of acolytes gonna come out to try to save the sepulture. And he's almost there. And here's an army of paint coming in trying to stop it. And I think he's actually gonna manage to save it here. That's a lot of repairs going on. And now he's starting to win. You can see the battle has reversed. The healing is outpacing. I wonder how much that's fucking costing him, though. It's gotta be annoying. Well, it's not monstrous, but it's pretty heavy on the wood. That's a lot of healing for not too much gold, I gotta be honest. Okay. Now, before we go any further into the game, I think I can pretty much sum up where we are at right now. The Jesus Animal Loas. Okay, hold on. I actually kind of want to see how this fight starts to go. I think Dark Green might be in a wonderful position. However, the Horde is being forced to fight Dark Horde from the Fell Horde of Outland. And uh, yeah, regular Horde doesn't have the upgrades he needs. And is really in a kind of a shit position at the moment. Defiled Fountain down for Anushi. And yeah, the Horde's going to have to retreat. He just doesn't have enough healing wards. Let's go ahead and pause this right here as the two massive armies of Horde, one good-ish and one super definitely evil-ish, are going to battle over the ruins of Alterac and Frostwolf territory. 
and essentially, I think, kind of help save the undead who are really not involved in, involved in this weird kind of terroristic war with the demons. So we're going to take a quick five minute break, and then we're going to come back to this. Those of you on the stream, please stay. I will, we're going to have a little buffer, and for those of you on the VODs, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.